wet your hands with water. Apply soap, rub your hands palm to palm and wash the backs of both hands and in between your fingers. Then palm to palm with fingers interlocked. Clasp your hands together and rub and then clean around the thumbs too. Rub your fingertips in the palms of your hands and finish off with the wrists. Rinse your hands really well with water and dry them thoroughly with a paper towel. Use the towel to turn off the tap. Your hands are now clean. Good morning, students. This is Gulrez Azizi. I hope you're keeping well. And thanks for watching this uh, precautionary video, uh, how to wash your hands. Uh, don't forget that uh, we are still under the threat of coronavirus. So you should take care of yourself by washing your hands regularly and uh, also uh, always wear mask when you are outside of your house. So in previous video I had explained detailed summary of this chapter the birth and today I'm going to read the paragraphs for you and I'll explain. Though it was nearly midnight when Andrew reached Brian Gower, he found Joe Morgan waiting for him, walking up and down with short steps between the closed surgery and the entrance to the house. At the sight of him, the burly driller's face expressed relief. So if you remember, in the summary I explained that um, uh, there was a newly graduated doctor whose name was Andrew Manson. He lived in this small town. Uh, the name of the town is here, it's mentioned here, uh, Blanley which is a small town of Wales. Wales is a state um, and um, basically it's a country, there are four countries together in the United Kingdom. So Wales is one of the countries and this Blanley is a small town where there is mines. So it's called mining town. Uh, you can call it Blanley. And uh, this Newly graduated Dr. Andrew Manson, he was assistant to Dr. Edward. They were one couple, Joe, Morgan, and his wife Suzanne. They had been expecting baby, and uh, Joe had come to uh, take. Andrew to his home so that he could treat his wife Suzanne who was uh, like um, uh, expecting baby that time and it was before time according to uh, Joe. So here in this first paragraph it was nearly midnight when Andrew reached his uh, house where he stayed called Brian Crower. And what he saw, that guy, John Morgan, he was already waiting for him and uh, he was walking up and down with short steps. So that means he was uh, waiting for doctor desperately. And he was just, you know, like uh, uh, walking ups and downs nearby the closed surgery. Surgery means here the clinic. Okay, this, that was obviously closed uh, because uh, Dr. Andrew had gone uh, somewhere else and the entrance to the house. And when Joe saw the doctor, his face, uh, in fact, he uh, like uh, he shown that uh, he expressed relief, in fact. So at the sight of him, when he saw the doctor, at the sight of him, the burly drillers, what do you mean by burly? Burly means 
uh, a very strong, uh, heavy person. Driller, a person who uh, does drilling. So a burly, a very strong driller, uh, who was that person? Joe. So he face got relief, uh, he, he shown uh, relief when he saw the doctor. Oh, doctor, I'm glad to see you. I've, I've been back and forward here this last hour. The missus wants yeah, before time to. There's some slang words been used in this chapter. Uh, slang words means like normally in conversation, uh, English people, they use a uh, local people. So here the word missus means missus meaning Joe's wife, wants ye, Y-E-A, that means you. So when he saw the doctor, Dr. Andrew, Joe said, oh, doctor, I'm glad to see you. I've been back and forward here this last hour. So basically what he meant to say that uh, uh, at the last moment, he had been backward and forward. He had been just eagerly waiting for him. The missus, missus, once here. That means his wife, Suzanne, needed a doctor before time to. So, I don't know if you know that, obviously, when a lady, a woman, expect baby, the doctor can uh, examine and give a delivery date. But that cannot be a certain date. It could be either a bit early or even two or three days later. Uh, so it's what he meant that before time to means his wife Suzanne needed a doctor before time. So it wasn't a time, but she needed doctor now. Andrew abruptly recalled from the contemplation of his own affairs told Morgan to wait. Andrew, he was in deep thinking. Contemplation means like he was thinking deeply of, of his own affairs and uh, uh, suddenly he just, you know, like uh, uh, he come back from his uh, uh, thoughts and told Morgan to wait. He went into the house for his bag. So he gone inside to bring his doctor bag where he kept uh, instruments and medicines and things. Then together they set out for number 12, Blaina Terrace. This is the address of that house where they had to go, where Joe lived and the doctor had to go. In foreign countries, the addresses are usually like this, uh, like 12 uh, Malvern Street, yeah, Wolverhampton. So here, 12 Blana Terrace, you know, so, and then the town name. The night air was cool and deep with quiet mystery. And now, the atmosphere, the environment, it was quite cool and deep with quiet is mystery. What does it mean? Means they, it seemed like there's something, uh, some mysterious environment was uh, that night at that time. Usually so perceptive Andrew now felt dull and listless. He had no premonition that this night call would prove unusual, still less that it would influence his whole future in Blandly. Premonition means guess. Uh, like, um, you know, uh, you cannot uh, uh, guess that what's going to happen. So, premonition means guessing something that could happen in future. And perceptive means seen or uh, understood. So, what here means that uh, while they were walking to that address, 12 Blana Terrace, and uh, the environment is, was like that, cool and deep with quiet mystery. And Andrew 
felt dull and listless means uh, he was quite sad because something had happened uh, before he reached to his clinic uh, resting place brian gower so he well i can tell you now that uh, he had kind of uh, argument a dispute with his girlfriend and that really uh, made him sad so this he kept thinking so andrew now felt dull and listless he had no premonition that this night call would prove unusual and now what was going to happen there in that at, at that house number 12 banana terrace he did not expect or he did not have any idea and that it would influence his whole future in blandly blandly is a small town where uh, there is mines yeah that is small place a small town uh, where he lived so what he was saying that uh, he did not have any guess any idea that uh, uh, this night call means the work which ha- he was going to do would prove unusual and uh, that would influence his whole future its effect obviously it would affect his whole future in planly the two men walked in silence until they reached the door of number 12 then joe drew up short so both of them joe morgan and uh, dr uh, andrew manson they reached the place there is the address number 12 and when there is joe drew up short means he just slowed down uh, remember this that uh, joe is husband of susan uh, who is expecting baby so joe was quite worried and he was tense he, he was worried about the, his wife and baby because there was already some complication so he slowed down there uh, nearly stopped and said i'll not come in he said and his voice showed signs of strain but man i know you'll do well for us so he slowed down nearly stopped and he said to a uh, doctor that he would uh, not come inside but he had faith he trusted the doctor and he would leave everything in his good hands so he knew that he would do uh, well for them that's all for today and um, what you need to do you need to read the rest of the paragraphs on the page number 66 and page number 67 yourself and any problem any difficult word you can take picture of that paragraph and send it to me on my whatsapp number and i'll get back to you we'll discuss uh, the entire chapter and finish this in our next meeting thank you very much have a good day ahead bye bye